All right, so in this video, we're going to finish up the notes part of the 1.1a notes here uh, on real numbers, properties of real numbers, etc. Okay, so in this uh, video, we're going to go over the properties of fractions. Okay, and as you can see down here in the uh, in the list of properties, we've got four different values we need. We've got A, B, C, and D. So I'm going to go ahead and prescribe uh, values for those. So A for us is going to be 2, B is going to be 3, C is going to be 5, and D is going to be 7. Okay. So, first property here, and you multiply a fraction times a fraction, you're just going to multiply numerator times numerator, A times C is AC, and in the denominator, B times D is BD, okay? So, let's plug in those values, so we've got 2 thirds times 5 sevenths, well, all we want to do is multiply the numerators, 2 times 5, and denominators, 3 times 7, uh, let's find the product of each of those, so 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 7 is 21, you always need to look and see if you can simplify, and we can't here. 10 over 21 can't be simplified, so that's the product. That's the answer uh, in this example, okay? Property 2. When you divide one fraction um, by another, okay, A over B divided by C over D, the, the rule for division, remember from, you know, your algebra classes is you want to change division to multiplication, and then you're going to take the reciprocal of this term here. So we're going to change division to multiplication, we're going to flip C over D and make it D over C, okay? And then we're going to use our property of multiplying fractions to finish up, okay? So, two-thirds divided by five-sevenths becomes two-thirds times the reciprocal of five-sevenths, which is seven-fifths, okay? Now we use our property we just learned in the first step. Uh, so, two times seven is 14. Three times five is 15. And my product or my answer is 14 over 15. Okay. In number three, we're adding fractions. Notice the denominator is the same. Okay. So if you have a common denominator, you can go ahead and add those fractions without doing anything extra. Okay. So using our values that we have here, 2 over 5 plus 3 over 5, I have a common denominator. Okay. So I'm going to add those numerators, 2 and 3, gives me 5. And now we can simplify that. 5 over 5 is 1. Okay. So adding fractions with a common denominator, very easy. Add the numerators, simplify if you need to, and you're finished, okay? If you don't have a common denominator, all right, you're going to need to multiply by whatever's going to give you that common denominator. Well, my common denominator is going to be the product of B and D, so that's my common denominator, okay? Well, the D wasn't here before, so I'm going to have to multiply A times D to make that happen. The B wasn't part of this term before, so I'm going to have to multiply by B to get the common denominator here. Okay, so 2 thirds plus 5 sevenths, no common denominator, so I'm going to multiply this by 7 over 7, okay, and I'm going to multiply this by 3 over 3, and that gives me 2 times 7 plus 5 times 3 over my common denominator, which is going to be 3 times 7, okay? That gives me 14 plus 15 over 21. Simplify the numerator, that gives me 29 over 21. Well, 29 is a prime number, so it doesn't have any common factors with anything. Um, so, can't take that out. Okay? So, that's going to be my answer. Leave your answers as improper fractions. That'll be beneficial for you later on. You need to know how to make that a mixed number, but the higher level math you get, the improper fractions are going to be uh, better for you. Okay? Uh, basically, property 5 here has to do with simplifying. If you have the product of two terms in the numerator the product of two terms in the denominator. If one of those terms is the same, you can just divide those out, okay? So these C's would cancel out, and I'm just left with A over B, okay? So 2 times 5 over 3 times 5, these 5's are just going to cancel out, and my answer is going to be 2 thirds, okay? 6, uh, if you've got two fractions equal to each other, okay, we all going to call this ratio and proportion, okay? So I've got A uh, and D, I'm going to multiply A times D, and I'm going to multiply B times C, okay? I can't use these values because it wouldn't be true if I plug those in here. 2 over 3 is not equal to 5 over 7, so I can't use these values uh, for 6. So what I will say here is if you have two ratios or two fractions equal to each other, you're going to cross multiply and then solve from there, okay? So that's the properties of fractions.